Well, hello friends, Mary Allen here with another rapid reset video for you. Simple strategies for finding inner peace in any moment. And here we are today in my kitchen and we are gonna talk about the strategy that is veggie smoothies. We're laughing, but this has been a game changer for me. So instead of talking about the merits of veggie smoothies, I am going to make one for you. First off, one thing that I do is I actually pre-bag a lot of the vegetables to begin with, just to make it super easy. Um, so I can just pull them all out here. But we start with a half a cucumber, all right? So we're gonna be a little Rachel Ray-like today. And I'm gonna chop up my cucumber, put that in here. Ah, forgot first step is actually to add water. So I've got here, you can look in here, it's about, about two cups of water. I'm gonna put that, I usually put that in first. Um, then the next thing I do is you can have three dates. Um, and of course you want the pits out because they uh, don't taste very good. So put those out. in. Um, I usually put them in first to kind of soften them up because they're probably the stickiest of everything. Um, so we'll pop that in to blender the trusty Vitamix. All right, next half a pepper. Um, just kind of cut out the inside part, make sure there's no seeds, give it a little shake. I'm going to give it a slice, a slice, a slice, pop that in there. I've got one celery already cut up, one carrot already cut up, half an apple. So, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And at one point I was going to take it out because there is sugar in the apple and Somebody that was a health coach said, no, no, no. There's so many other good things for you about apples, leave it in. So I do. All right, um, next, part of what is going to make your veggie smoothie taste good is both, the, well, the apple is sweet, the pepper has got some sweetness, and also lemon helps cut the green. So we cut off the outside yellow rind. I did have a friend make one for me. <laughs> I could get the seeds out as well. Um, after I first had my twins and uh, she didn't cut off the outside. Makes it a lot more bitter. So definitely cut off the outside. Leave the white, as much of the white as you can without getting the yellow rind because it has got nutrients in there. So this one has it's kind of a small lemon. If they're super small, sometimes I put in a whole lemon. This is, I would probably double this, but pop that in. Half an avocado. This is super important because it is the emulsifier, which makes it so that it doesn't separate once it's all mixed together. It keeps it together um, or it emulsifies less. Uh, you can also use if you're allergic to avocados or something, you can use uh, peanut butter or almond butter or something. Something fatty is the key. So, um, all right, I'm gonna pop that in. Then we have some greens. I have to say that arugula is actually my favorite. This is baby spinach. Any greens will work. I give it just a big handful. I don't know how much. It's kind of an eyeball -y thing, right? So good cup of greens. Then we also, just a rinse. Um, we're also going to add some frozen blueberries. I like Costco, you get a, it's a great value. It's gonna be about a half a cup, but again, you kind of eyeball it. Might have been a little bit more, but you can also do frozen strawberries, frozen mixed berries. Sometimes I take fruit that's just about to go bad and 
putting the little baggie in the freezer. So uh, when it's frozen, putting it into the blender is great. Uh, so another thing to do if you have kind of like borderline raspberries or some other fruit, something you can do with that. Um, also, I've got uh, four or five ice cubes here. I'm gonna put those in, just get some extra coldness. And then I like to add some protein powder. This is my favorite now for quite a while, purely inspired. It's a plant-based vanilla protein powder. I think the recommended is two scoops. I do three just to get that extra protein. So we go one, two, and three. Awesome. And then I've been using this also for years, Green Vibrance. Love it. It's got 25 billion probiotics. The label is extensive. So, and I do notice the energy boost that I get from the green powder. So just one scoop. There's our green. And you can add other things. Sometimes I mix it up with frozen pineapple or um, any other kind of fruit that I happen to have. The dates also will, will kind of cut the green flavor. Okay, so now we've got put the lid on, the trusty Vitamix, be loud for a minute. make sure that the protein powder isn't stuck on the edges. Sometimes those green leafy friends like to get caught up in the lid too. So we'll put that back on. Give it another Vitamix, the mixing goes way faster than a blender. And I've done this same recipe in a regular blender. And I'm here to tell you, it doesn't taste as good. It's never gets as smooth as a trusty Vitamix. So, so worth it. I've had mine for, I think over 20, no, more like 25, 26 years. They just keep working. And yeah, so gotta get that. I like to use, this will make like two giant uh, cupfuls. Sometimes I will have just one of these a day. Other times if I'm wanting to cleanse, I will, this will be what I'll eat kind of all day. I might have like a little snack in the afternoon and then a good healthy dinner. So it gives me energy, uh, adds to my sense of inner peace. And I will tell you, having done smoothies for all these years, when I go too many days without having all this nutrient, I, you know, I just, I feel off. So I look forward to the Mondays when I can get back and back in my kitchen, making my veggie smoothie. It truly makes me feel good, gives me energy, adds to my sense of peace. So I hope you'll try it. I will include my recipe down below wherever you're watching this video. And gotta have a taste, right? Mm. Delish. Okay, that's it for now. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.